most people aren't doing one meal a day. I mean, it's pretty difficult and it's not even necessary to achieve optimal health or body composition, but there are some people who are interested in doing that. I have tried it also for many years. However, I'm not doing like a strict one meal a day in the regular sense. I do have a twist. I have my own way of doing it. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think that it's better than the regular one meal a day, at least for me. First of all, I'll say that, yeah, I do think one meal is great. I like it. I think that it's very convenient for both uh, time management side and convenience. It makes fat loss and weight loss also relatively easy. So when you look at this uh, recent January 2022 study, differential effects of one meal per day in the evening on metabolic health and physical performance in lean individuals, and they did find that, uh, yeah, compared to eating three meals a day, then the one meal a day did result in uh, body weight and improved metabolic flexibility. It wasn't like significantly greater than uh, the three meals a day but it still you know has those health benefits that people are looking for when it comes to intermittent fasting but the way i do it is that i have the regular one meal a day in the evening before that though i have essentially like a protein shake uh, doing my workout and uh, the main reason for that is just improve performance at the gym and improve the muscle growth that's the biggest reason why i do it i've tried regular one meal a day where you literally eat only one meal a day within like an hour or something and i've tried 16 and 8 method uh, something where you eat two meals i like to like basically put it somewhere in the middle like find a balance between those things i like one meal a day for the convenience 16 and 8 is probably more superior for muscle growth and uh, muscle hypertrophy and muscle strength because you're eating more protein more frequently that leads to better muscle protein synthesis and uh, helps to achieve muscle hypertrophy faster. So what I do is that I basically put it in the middle. I'm going to have one and a half meals, essentially one meal a day with a protein shake and some amino acids that uh, the main goal is to yeah, reduce muscle catabolism with the consumption of these amino acids and protein. And at the same time, also give my performance a little boost whenever I do need it at the gym. You're crazy, son. The idea that you need to eat uh, very small meals of protein throughout the day, there is some truth to that that uh, yeah the more frequently you do consume protein then the more frequently you're going to spike the protein synthesis as well and uh, this will in turn increase your positive balance in the protein turner instead of catabolism because you consume protein more uh, frequently this uh, study 2014 did find that having like a higher frequency of protein consumption through the day throughout the day did uh, carry over like a more protein stimulated over the 24 hour period than having only like a single meal or uh, like a t small time frame in which you consume your protein another two 2015 study found that uh, on an energy deficit, calorie deficit, consuming protein more frequently does help with uh, preserving muscle in a calorie deficit. Now, I'm not worried about losing muscle, even if I am fasting for like, you know, many days. Uh, I'm young, I'm able to build it fast, uh, and uh, my muscle catabolism is quite low because of that. But, you know, when you are doing one meal a day all the time, then uh, the potential risk may be that, yeah, you, over the course of years, etc., you will become more catabolic over time. And uh, to prevent that, then I think it's just, you know, worthwhile to have like an additional protein meal or some surge of protein before the actual meal to help uh, with that. Do it. Another uh, 2015 study found that uh, having six meals instead of two meals was superior in preserving fat-free mass or muscle mass during weight loss. So again, when you're in a calorie deficit, then uh, having a slightly frequent consumption of protein is superior in maintaining muscle mass. Now, of course, you're not going to always lose muscle when you even when you're one minute Day. I've done one meal a day, yeah, this type that I'm saying for up to six years, and uh, I've not lost muscle, actually built muscle, increased lean body mass, and I'm probably leaner as well a little bit because of the higher metabolic weight from by the muscle mass. So yeah, it works. You know, it's still possible to you know, get stronger and build muscle with one meal a day, but from my own personal experience, and as, as these studies suggest, that it's quite hard to achieve that goal of maybe like peak muscular growth etc uh, if you are always eating one meal a day so it's very difficult to cram all that protein into one meal your body will absorb all of it you're not going to waste it but you're only stimulating the protein synthesis once in that time frame if the total protein is the same you eat the same amount of protein in one meal or two meals then you will build more muscle with the two meals because you're spiking the protein synthesis more often so you know it depends on your goals what you're looking for i think that most people they're fine eating one meal a day i think that you know they would still benefit from having days where they have two meals or they would have like additional protein surge in that time frame but if you're trying to build muscle then you definitely need more than that you definitely need more than that one meal maybe in the short term you can get away with it or you're like under trained if you're a beginner in the gym you don't have particularly large amount of muscle mass 
you're a beginner, then you can yeah, even build muscle and uh, lose weight at the same time by eating one meal a day because you're such a beginner, your body is just so like sensitive towards the stimulus that you receive. In that scenario, it's very possible to do. But when you become more advanced, so uh, for, to facilitate that or support that goal, then you would need to consume more uh, protein more frequently. Protein rocks! So this is just how I do it. What I do is, yeah, one meal a day in the evening and then during the daytime before my workout or during the workout I have a protein shake, usually whey protein, sometimes pea protein as well. Those are great um, with essential amino acids, creatine. If you're not interested in protein powders or anything like that artificial, then uh, you can still, you know, replicate that same uh, routine by having some whole foods like you can have like even like just one boiled egg or a meat stick or something else, uh, liver crisps, uh, something that has a bit of protein to turn on the protein synthesis. The key though is to reach the threshold for protein synthesis, which uh, is at least, uh, you need at least uh, 2.5 grams of leucine to reach that uh, optimal intake or the muscle protein synthesis. And for that, usually you need at least 20 grams of protein. If you're younger, if you're older, then maybe up to 30 grams of protein. So you need to have at least two meals per day when you're doing this, what I call targeted inner fasting, you need to at least uh, two meals per day with 30 grams protein each meal at least. Obviously the one meal will have more, the last meal of the day will have more protein, but it doesn't matter. You need at least two meals that exceed the 30 grams of protein threshold or 20 grams, depending on your age. If you want to learn more how to do this targeted inner fasting, then check out my book, Metabolic Autophagy. And I also have a four week meal plan that utilizes and incorporates all these principles here. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.